Good morning, students. So in our previous class, we saw our lesson one large number. So before going to next lesson, let us revise that lesson first. The important concepts in that. So lesson one, that is large number. So in previous class, we have learned till. Four, five digit numbers. Now large numbers means six, seven, eight, nine digit numbers. So how to read those numbers? How to write those numbers? What is the predecessor before successor of those numbers? How to expand? How to uh, compare them? Order them? Greater than? Less than? Ascending? Descending? These all things are there in this large number lesson. Okay. So let us first revise. Indian numbers is given. So in the Indian number system, we have periods, cases, case value. Okay. So in first period, we have ones, thousands, and here lakh. And again we have crore and arab. But this year we will have till lakh. So one period, thousand period and lakh period. In one period there are three cases. Ones, tens, hundred. In thousand period we have two cases. Thousand and ten thousand. In lakh period Lakh and ten lakh. Okay, so like this places we are having a crore, one crore, ten crore, and then arab, one arab, ten arab. Like this places are there. But here, in one period, we can see there are three places: one, ten, hundred. Here in thousand, only two places, and in lakh also two places. Okay, now digits. In one period, you have one, you have one digit, you have two digit, three digit, four digit, five digit, six digit, and seven digit numbers. Okay, so we are going to learn the seven digit numbers, large numbers. Okay, now this is about Indian number system, place, period, place. Okay, and digits. Now we will see. Place value. What is the value of that place? Now, in one period here, one place we have only one digit. So its place value is one, the same number. Now here tens. Tens will have two digits. So place value is ten. Hundred three digit. So Place value is 3. Uh, 100. Its digits are 3 and place value 3. Means here 1 and 2 zeros, including this 1. So 1 and 2 zeros together 3 digits. So 3 digit numbers. Tell 1000. In 1000, here we are having 1 and 3 zeros. So 4 digit number. Here 1 and Four zeros. So five is the number ten thousand. So its place value is ten thousand. Place value one and four zeros. Here one and five zeros. So we in lakh we have one and five zeros. And in ten lakh one and six zeros. So there will be one and one zero in ten. Here one and two zeros in the hundred. 1 and 3 zeros in 1000, 1 and 4 zeros in 10,000, here 1 and 5 zeros will be there in 1 lakh, and here 6 zeros in 10 lakh. So these are the place value. So period, places, digits, and place value. Now place value we saw. What is face value? So face value means the Face of that number, how the number looks. So let it be any place. Let the number be in lakh place, 
or 10,000 phase or 1,000 phase. Its phase value will remain same. Means, for example, in 1,000 phase, this is the number. The phase value of phi is phi only. That it be 10,000 phase, but its phase value is same phi. Its place value is this text place is there two, its place value is two only. Six is there in hundred place, its place value is six only. So place value will not change, only place value will change. Place value will remain same. So here six is place, its place value. Here five we have the place value five only. Again, some examples. Now, this is a large number. Now, here we can see here ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, lakh. Now 7 is in lakh place. Its place will be lakh. 7 is in lakh place. What is its place value? Place value will be 7 lakh. 7 lakh. What is its place value? Place value is 7. So what? How the number looks? That will be its place value. So place value depends on places. Place value will be mean as it is the number itself. Let us see now how to read and write in a number. In Indian number system. Now, this is a large number. A smaller number you can read easily. What is this? This is 32. This is 432. So three digit numbers are there. 432. But how to read large number? So to read large number it depends on the places. So first step is we have to put commas according to the period. First we have to separate the number according to the periods by putting commas. So this is ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand and lakh. Now according to periods we have to put commas. Ones, tens, hundred, comma, thousand, ten thousand, comma. So here we have separated according to the figures. After that, we can read it easily. So here 8 is in that place. Here 56. Here is the here 50 and this is 6 in thousand. And here these are in one period. So when we have to read a number, we have to start from larger place. So here 8 is in that place. So Lakh, 8 lakh, we have, after that reading that number, we have to write the period of that number. So 8 comes in lakh period, so 8 lakh, 56,209. Similarly, we have to write it also. Huh? 8 lakh, 50, 6,209. So how we read? Same method. We have to write but by using the correct spelling. So we have to learn the spellings of lakh, hundred, thousand. So we have 8 lakh, 56,209. Okay, so like this in Indian number system, we have to read or write any number. Now,
Now what we do? Expand that number. Expanded form. Now this is short form. So expanded form means eight. And after that number, how many digits are there? One, two, three, four, five. Eight is in lakh place. So lakh will have how many zeros? Eight and five zeros. So we have to put five zeros plus five in thousand, ten thousand place. So four zeros, six and three zeros, two hundred, and here ten place. Two here zero it is right or not right? It's okay because it is zero only, and here nine is in ones place. So like this, we can expand any number. Okay. In this, we have again predecessor and successor. So what is predecessor? Predecessor means before. Successor means after. So predecessor. Successor. Before, after. Now, smaller numbers like 23, we can write easily what is the before number, which is the previous number, predecessor, that is 22, which is the next number, successor, 24. But large number, how many you write? So, there is one method. When we have to write, find out the predecessor, that time we have to minus 1 to the 1 place. Only 1 place we have to subtract 1. And when we have to find successor, we have to plus 1, add 1 to this number in the 1 period. 1 place. Now here, if we take same number, what is the predecessor? So pre, predecessor, before. Means here minus 1. So, the predecessor will be 8 lakh 56,108. 9 minus 1 is 8. What will be the successor? Next number 8 lakh 56,210. Now, here 9209 is given. If you add 1 to it, what it will become? Here 0, 1, this 1 and 2, so 210. So here 0 will not come because in one period there should be only 3 digits. So 210. So this is predecessor and this is successor. Again we have comparing ordering. That means comparing means greater than less than. Now how will you find if large number is greater or smaller. Now, these are two numbers. So, when we have to compare which is larger, which is smaller, greater, smaller, smaller that time what we have to do? First, we have to count the digits. Now, here you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 digits. There are also 5 digits are there. If the digits are same, then what we have to do? According to the places, the larger place, which the great, if the greater number is there, then we have to, that is the greater number. If in larger place, smaller number are there. Now, for example, here you can see, this is, here in 1000 place, 3 is there. Here also, 10,000 place, here also 3, here also 3. But in 1000 place, here 4 is there. And here 5. That means this is 34,820. Here 35,000. So which is greater? 4 is greater or 5 is greater? 5 is greater. So we have to put like this side. So like this, we have to compare greater than less than any large number. And using this method only, we can arrange them in SMB or descending. Small to big, big to small. Okay, so this is there in Indian number system. In next class, we will see international number system. Thank you.